Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and well, we have a pretty innocent looking Yale rim cylinder here sent to me by subscriber Wayne, who sent this along with um, a whole bunch of other things not so long ago. And um, yeah, I, I I thought, do you know what? It's it's a challenge lock, isn't it? And I opened up this piece of paper just briefly, just briefly to, to see if there's a, a message in here about it. S saw the pictures, instantly closed the piece of paper back up, went away, had a bit of a cry, then came back, steeled myself with a strong cup of tea. I thought I'd have a go at picking it. Now, you'll see that it's in the picked open position. Um, and that's because I have actually picked it open, but I have yet to have a look at the key, which seems very well wrapped. And also, it did take me a pretty long time to get this, I'll be honest with you. It's, uh, it's a challenging little thing, this. Uh, no jokes whatsoever. This was a pain. So um, I want to now try and repeat this pick. So I'm gonna turn this all the way back. Listen, oh, listen to those clicks. And we'll just see if we can't get another note, another open. If I can't, do you know what? I'm probably still going to show you the insides of this lock because I think there's something pretty special in there. I've not opened it yet. Um, so I, I, like I said, it's only a flash of the pictures of what could be inside, I, but I'm not really seeing to make sure, but yeah, let, let's have a go. Okay, you're in the vice, and we're going to try and pick this if we can. Uh, so, just going to go in with this very thin shank, pick in 20 thousandths. That's five, four, three little click. Uh, two little click there, back through, five, five. Four, three, two. Okay, let's try and find three then. This one I've only had to really set quite high for for some reason. It just sort of demands it. So, uh, not much you can do about it apart from try your best. I think maybe that's okay. Hmm, we'll see. Back into one, two, okay, back to the back. Five, four, three, two, one, three again, I think. I must have just dropped it. Two, three. Okay, get into the lock again, see what we got. First pin of four. Four, three, two, one. Keep dropping three, I think. Or so it's not going right there. Five, four, three, two. Back through. Five, four. Three. Okay, back to the back again. Okay, let's try getting onto the top of three again, if we can. Okay, let's try a different pick. <laughs> Maybe that will help. Go back through and just try to find anything that isn't quite binding as I want it to. Give it a little poke. Go back 
Go to the thinner pick again. Four, three, two. Let's try three then. I feel like we're almost there, but I can't quite figure out why we're not open yet. So, uh, yeah, watch this space. Struggling a bit as to why I can't get an open. again and oh, we got it we got it oh my goodness that's five minutes wow that was intense not been so stressed picking a lock in my um whole life Whew. right um do you know what we can have a look at that key now can't we uh how do i get this off scissors 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 i've got scissors I assume it's just, yeah, let's have a go. Oh. What if I just, ah, oh, okay, right, didn't need scissors, that's fair enough. Bitting, so I knew that we had to lift three really high. Is that true? Yes. And touching one was overset. Okay. But the rest, very, like I said, this was not, by the way, a five minute lock. Um, it was a, a couple of hours lock, I'll be honest with you, first time I tried this. And finding out what pins need to be picked, which ones are overset easily, which ones uh, a short hook won't reach. All of that I had to figure out um, in that time. Uh, so yeah, very cool. Let's just, does the key work? This is a test, isn't it? Not only, not sometimes these keys don't work, they're just the key which comes with it, but I'm hoping it does. Ready? So, as you see, fully open. Let's do it. Does it work? Oh, so smooth. That always gets me when a lock is so hard to pick, but you put the key in, it's just like, la, 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 I'm the best. Okay, so, I've um, uh, got these ready. Oh. I don't want to, I don't want to damage this whole thing too much. So I've got some spares, but it's always nice if you can reuse, right? Uh, followers, 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 please. Um, talk about followers. If you haven't subscribed, uh, please subscribe. There you go. That's uh, uh, shims, 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 shims. I never have anything that I want ready, do I? There we go, shims. Follower, key. I'm fascinated to see what is going on inside here. Uh, let's get a shim in there, especially for challenge locks. Always, always for challenge locks because you've got no idea if there's uh, wafers in here, like T-pins, anything that could get in the way. Don't take the risk. Just use a shim. Always, always, always. And, well, that looks relatively unassuming, doesn't it? Let's have a look. Oh! No, it does. That that looks really. That's how evil is that? So it looks like we've got a little teep in here. So if, that's why this was so hard. If you overset it, look, that little nib there will just come up. Then this one is serrated, but it's, it's got a slotted chamber here, like that. And I don't know what significance that has. The rest seem 
Okay, well, let's, let's tip these out. So we've got a little, oh, serrated T-pin, an overset trap. A chamber with what looks like a serrated key pin. Very nicely serrated as well. Uh, key pin with threaded chamber. Wow, somebody doesn't like me at all. It looks like a mushroom. Um, a, a mushroom key pin. And uh, um, I did notice on this sometimes that if I didn't pick it right, it went into a crazy, crazy... Um, deep full set. I'm wondering whether that was this getting up into uh, oversetting, getting right up into the um, so this way up, getting right up into the pin, uh, the driver pin chambers of the Bible, and causing me um, a, that that an overset false set possibly. Um, I'll show you these pins in turn. Well, let's do it now actually because these are so cool. Look at that serrated key pin with a, a T-pin slot so it will catch threaded not threaded a very nicely actually um, serrated key pin a maybe one with a slight taper a really evil mushroom key pin and some kind of like another mushroom key pin there let's have a look at those chambers what's going on here so we got normal slotted for some reason, possibly a I'm guessing some kind of like T pin so that it would in so do that it would catch as it got picked like that. I'm guessing we'll have to have a look. Um then threaded, threaded and undercut. Whew, this is it's all kinds of evil. Um, okay, okay. Let's let's do it. Let's have a look, and then we can match these up with the chambers. I don't think the Bible's been modified. These are all there. That's yeah. So I don't, the Bible won't be modified. I don't think so. Let's have a go. So this is a T pin to match the T pin at the bottom. So again, they just drop back into the keyway and cause all sorts of pain. Oh, now that is cool. This matches up with the slotted chamber here. So I wonder if that's wide enough. So it's, oh, so that, look, it it's undercut so much that this will actually catch. That's incredible. That, how did, how did, did somebody do that? This isn't a sleeved. I don't even know how somebody would do that. A very careful, um, fine jeweler's bit on a Dremel saying. Look at that. Can you see how? See if I can get it on that angle. Look, it goes in, but look, it actually goes underneath. That's so cool. Whoo! That's uh, that's that's definitely something. I didn't realize it interacts with the chamber like that. That's amazing. So the next ones are threaded. So I'm assuming some kind of serration. Although second guessing this lock is going to be. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yes, I think. Oh, yes. Yeah, I'll have to show you that one. That's so cool. Um... That's a just a, a, like a very sharp Asa style spool with a slightly wonky spring by the looks of things. Um, I've got a spare spring so I will change that out. A Christmas tree which actually looks like an Asa. So if it's homemade that's really cool and that's just uh, the bottom bit. So oh so you could oh okay so they're not plugs. Right right, right okay. Where's that last spring in chamber five? Get down, you. Okay, so they're all brass springs. This uh, is just a a plate which goes at the bottom like that to cover up the chambers. It's not been threaded though, so these Bible chambers haven't been modified, but this, this one, so let's have a look at these. So T-pin, very cool. Very sharp mushroom which puts you into a crazy, crazy uh, false set. 
Um, I'll, I'll keep that one to last because this is so cool. A Christmas tree, which is looks commercial, could be handmade. It's pretty awesome either way. Um, and then a very sharp, very sharp sort of spool. Um, but this, this is one I was most interested in. Look at this, it's articulated. Look, it's actually attached um, like like a, a piston would be. That, I've not seen that before. And how you do that, I don't know. You need to, to undercut the inside then without damaging it, like use some pressure fitting to push that in. It won't come out easily. That's so cool. Right, look, this is this is the piece of paper that I just opened up because I didn't know what it was until I, I opened it up and went like that. I went, <clears throat> and then as soon as I saw this image here, so you'll see how that sort of uh, piston pin works with the serrations on it. I mean, that's really awesome, isn't it? And I, I, look, I didn't really look at this bit. I just saw that image and went, <gasps> and closed it up instantly. Um, so yeah, I, I, obviously there's no way to tell what pins in what chamber, how they would interact uh, with the with the pin chambers at all from this drawing, but um, nevertheless, um, so cool. Definitely one of the, the coolest um, challenge locks, I'll be honest, I've, I've ever seen. And I don't do challenge locks on this channel really because it's very hard for people to relate to them. You know, if, if I do, I don't know, um, a master lock, you can go out and buy one and try and pick it yourself, but uh, uh, challenge locks, you can't, you just have to sort of believe what you're seeing, you know, in terms of the, the what people are saying about the feedback and how it interacts. Unless, you know, you'll never be able to try it unless you, you um, get this passed around to you. So that's generally why I don't do a lot of challenge locks. It's very hard to, uh, to relate to them. But when you see workmanship like this, then I think it's definitely worth showing because that really is something special especially this piston pin, serrated piston pin, that is absolute genius. And the undercutting on um, on on the chambers here as well, um, that would take a steady hand, a really steady hand, and very, very well done, uh, Wayne. So yeah, excellent lock. Um, it doesn't have a name, um, but this, you know, it's definitely like a piston pin lock. It's, it's so cool. Um, really love it and uh, thank you all for watching uh, please drop me a like comment below read them all reply to as many as i can uh, please subscribe if you haven't subscribed and i'll see you all next time